Hey guys, this is a follow-up video to my latest Organize With Me video where I gave our playroom a little refresh so you can go back and check this out first but here my sweet husband and I <laughs> thank you Ken uh, made you a little tutorial on how to hang the Beckvam shelf as book display I already assembled the shelves and decided at this stage not to paint them I like the natural look and I can always take them down and paint them when I want to. Since I'm seven months pregnant, I asked my husband to help me and we first decided on the height of the low shelf. Then we leveled it and marked the top part of both sides. We want our son to reach it, but we also want to be able to add another shelf under in the future or add a little basket over there so it shouldn't be too low. Now we took the shelf down and marked the drilling holes. We used a ruler to measure the length from the top mark to the drilling hole. Do that to both sides, of course, and then repeat the process for the top shelf. Make sure to leave enough space for the books that will be under the top shelf. Now drill the holes. That's the fun part. Our wall is made from concrete bricks, so that's how you're supposed to hang on that kind of wall. If your wall is made of drywall, it's a different story. Make sure you drill a hole in the same size as your wall plugs. And keep your working space clean by vacuuming right after. Now use a hammer to get the wall plugs in, but use it gently so you don't break the plugs. Now for the next step, make sure that the screws you use have a small head size so it will fit the holes made in the IKEA shelf itself. Luckily, we learned that the easy way since we had smaller ones at home. It is just for the size of the top part, not the width of the screws. You should use the same width size that will fit the plugs you just drilled and hammered in. Then get the screws into the wall plugs and place the shelves. Make sure again it is leveled and be proud of yourself. Time to clean up and put everything back and that is it! Hope you liked this little tutorial and let me know in the comments if you tried it. Hit the like button on your way down there and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Thank you.